Hello, my name is John Nicastro, sales consultant with NetSuite. Welcome to NetSuite's Suite Success pre-recorded demonstrations for financials first emerging markets. NetSuite's robust financial reporting is comprised of rich, actionable dashboards with KPIs and analytics, comprehensive pre-built financial reports giving our customers the real-time ability to monitor their businesses. Dynamic reports that allow for slicing and dicing of information by leveraging NetSuite's flexible segments. And all reports have drill-through capability down to the transaction level detail. Let's dive into the demo. In this video, I will assume the persona of a finance person. Having logged into NetSuite, you'll notice my role-based dashboard has everything I need as a controller. NetSuite emphasizes enhancing the productivity of our users through simple, user-friendly dashboards containing valuable real-time information geared towards my particular role. My dashboard contains a host of current information at my fingertips, charts, graphs, and analytics. In this case, key performance indicators where I can quickly gauge the health of my company. This month, it appears that while revenue is up 8.3% from the previous period, our expenses are increasing at a higher rate of 10.4%. This can be an indication of issues within our cost structure. As a result, my CFO has asked me to take a deeper dive into the expense area. Drilling into my expense KPI, I am instantly taken to my income statement. I have been keeping an eye on our payroll expenses lately. Let me take a look at account 6210, salaries and wages. Upon drilling into account 6210, I see there is a journal entry number 261 for $10,000. Let me take this down a level. Looking at that journal entry, the memo field indicates that this payroll accrual is related to overtime for our new product rollout. Leveraging NetSuite's flexible segments for reporting purposes, I also see that these costs have been classified to our operations department and our Class D product stream. On the subject of expenses, I now want to do some further analysis of our period performance, specifically our departments. Back to my dashboard, I have quick access to my income statement. Because we have taken full advantage of NetSuite segments, I can quickly slice and dice our results. Filtering my income statement by our department segment, I have clear visibility to that $10,000 correctly hitting our operations department. I am now satisfied with my initial review of our income statement in this area. Another challenge we face each month is visibility to inventory that we are carrying on the balance sheet, specifically ensuring that we have inventory evenly distributed by our locations. From my dashboard, I have direct access to our financial statements, including my balance sheet. Looks like we have $1.6 million in total inventory in account 1210 at the current time. I have visibility where that inventory is located by filtering my balance sheet report by my location dimension. Now looking at my inventory account 1210 by location, I see that we have a decent amount of inventory value at our US1 and our US2 locations. However, we also seem to have about 600,000 in inventory that has yet to be assigned to a specific location. Having inventory without a designated location is highly unusual for us. I will send a quick inquiry off to my inventory manager, who fortunately also has access to NetSuite. I'm going to click the email icon link, which opens up an email. I type in my message in the body of the email, and I could even attach a file or document to the same message. All done right from my report. Then just hit the send button. Because I have all the reports and analytics right on my dashboard, I was able to do a quick analysis of my payroll costs and department results. I then isolated and investigated potential inventory situation in a matter of minutes. In general, I now spend less time compiling and more time analyzing the data, which allows me to become more proactive instead of reactive as a controller. 